Well, for an Ashes test, it takes years to prepare for, but uh, we're, we're just waiting. You can feel that kind of anticipation in the air. We're well advanced now, as you would expect. Everybody's really excited and people love an Ashes test in Manchester. We've been doing it for over 100 years. We've got some incredible magic moments. You know, Warren's Ball of the Century, that's 30 years anniversary this year, which is incredible, really. We've sold double the hospitality this year than we did 10 years ago for the 2013 Ashes. We'd sold all general admission tickets days one to four before Christmas. We've already sold just under 17,000 tickets for day five, which again is unprecedented. You would have seen the first test the other day. Sadly not the right result for England, but what a match that was. If I measure it by the number of text messages, WhatsApps, telephone calls I've had since the game that we just lost as England, imagine if we'd have won that game. The interest in the Ashes, and particularly this year, there's not been anything like this since 2005, I don't think, in terms of cricket. Tell me about the new development, particularly this behind us. How does that extend the capacity and, and just enhance the ground as a whole? We're very excited about the new hotel extension. It takes us from 150 bedrooms in the existing Hilton to 250 bedrooms. We've got a 180 cover restaurant. We've got a new stand of about an extra thousand seats. A full 9,000 seat party stand buzzing as well. This place is going to be rocking come July the 19th. We've also in our new package got a lot of women's international cricket coming from 2025 so uh, we've got five white ball internationals so we're excited about that as well. What's your standout memory of the last time the Ashes came here 2019 because there was such a huge buzz around the place wasn't there? It was just the joy on people's faces and I think for me it was just that atmosphere across that test match was just it's not like anything else we do here. The Ashes aren't going to be here in four years' time, but Emirates Old Trafford will host the Ashes in eight years' time. How, how big a blow is that? For us, it's not so much a blow. We've had 2019 and 2023, and we've got 2031. So, uh, and we'll have 2035. So actually, that's a pretty good measure over that, that period. The one thing that we're all hoping for this year is you know, the great Jimmy Anderson, there is still not a, an alive test match bowler who can actually bowl in a test match from his own end. That doesn't exist anywhere in the world apart from here. We've just got Kate Cross taking wickets with the new ball in the Women's Ashes series, a Lancashire legend, and we can't wait for Jimmy to, on his home turf from his home end, uh, to get those openers out on that first day.